Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of ratios, specifically how we can use ratios when we are comparing numbers and multiplication. We will do it in 5 minutes or less. First, we need to make sure we understand what a ratio is. A ratio is simply the quotient of two numbers. So typically we're going to see a ratio expressed two different ways. So if we have ratio of 6 to 1, it's going to look like this, 6 with a colon or dot dot 1, or maybe we'll see it as a fraction, 6 over 1. But that's how we represent a ratio. Now let's see what that looks like if we're using it in a real-world situation. Let's say, for example, you're painting a wall, and there's a specific color that you want. It's a reddish-orange, and it is made up of a ratio of 5 to 2. Meaning, for every five quarts of red paint, you use two quarts of yellow paint. So our question is, is if you have a very large wall, and you know that you're going to need 25 quarts of red, how many quarts of yellow would you need in order to keep the same ratio? Well, let's set this up as a fraction here. 25 quarts of red over how many quarts of yellow is going to give us the same ratio. Well, let's take our ratio here, 5 to 2, and let's go ahead and set it up as a fraction, 5 to 2. And we know it's a ratio, so we're going to set this up as an equivalent fraction here. So we have 5 quarts of red to 25 quarts of red, 2 quarts of yellow to an unknown number of quarts of yellow. Well, if we're looking at an equivalent fraction here, because the ratio is going to stay the same, no matter how big they get, let's think how we can multiply something times 5 to get us to 25. So something times 5 is going to get us to 25. Well, that's going to be times 5. So if we want to keep our ratio the same, we're going to need to multiply our denominator times 5. Because when you multiply by 5 over 5, well, 5 over 5 equals 1. And we know... With the identity property of multiplication, multiplying anything by 1 keeps it the same. We're just making it look different. So if we multiply 5 times 5 to get 25, we can do 2 times 5. That's going to get us 10. So we can see that 5 to 2 is going to get us the exact same ratio as 25 to 10. And if you want, you can also check your work by looking at both of these as fractions here. Take a look at what we have here, 5 over 5, that reduces to 1 fifth, and 2 over 10, that also reduces to 1 fifth. So you can see here our answer is 10, we've checked it two different ways. Let's look at a different example here. If you wanted to make some less caffeinated coffee, and you want it to still have a strong coffee taste, you don't want to water it down, you could use... A ratio like this. You can take three cups of caffeinated coffee, so we'll have that as 3C, for every two cups of decaffeinated coffee. So it still has that strong taste, we'll have that as 2D, but it's not going to keep you up all night. So here's our question. If you only had 12 cups of decaf or decaffeinated coffee, how many cups of caffeinated coffee would you need in order to keep the ratio the same? Well, let's take a look at our ratio here. So we have 3 over 2. We're going to keep our units in the same location. So we have our decaf in the denominator. So we're going to keep our decaf in the denominator because that's our other known term here. So 2 cups of decaf for every 3 cups of caffeinated. If we have 12 cups of decaf, well, let's multiply something. Times 2 is going to give us a 12. That's going to be 6. So we're going to do the same thing we did last time. Multiply top and bottom by 6 because... 6 over 6 equals 1. So we're not changing it. We're just making it look different. So it looks like it's going to be 3 times 6 is going to be 18. So if you only had 12 cups of decaf, you could have 18 cups of caffeinated coffee. Now it's your turn. If you are building a pattern where you use 6 white blocks and then 4 blue blocks and you repeat that, how many blue blocks will you need if you use 72 white blocks? Go ahead and pause the video, work it out, and unpause the video when you have your answer and check your work. If you set your ratio up correctly, you realize that you have to multiply both top and bottom by 12, so your answer is 48 blue blocks.